Hi, I'm Dr. Tracy Banks and welcome to Bankable Health Tips. This is a show where we provide you with the latest information on health topics that concern you. Today, we're going to continue our series on contraception and talk about the shot and the implant, also known as the Depo-Provera shot and the implant. So let's get started. First of all, what are these types of birth control? Well, these are hormonal types of birth control that contain progesterone only, and like other types of hormonal birth control, they do not protect against sexually transmitted diseases. They work primarily by preventing ovulation or preventing your ovaries from making an egg every month. They also thicken the cervical mucus, which makes it difficult for the sperm to get to where the egg is, as well as it thins the lining of the uterus so a fertilized egg can attach. The first one we're going to talk about is the Depo-Provera vera injection or the shot. This is a type of birth control where you get a shot in your arm or your bottom every three months. The first shot is typically given within the first five days of your cycle and it is over 99% effective. The benefits of the shot is that it's very convenient. Four times a year you have to visit your doctor for an injection and it also may decrease the incidence of endometrial cancer as well as decrease the frequency of menstrual migraines or heavy periods. It's also safe for breastfeeding. The risks of the shot are very few, but one of the main risks is that over a period of time, it may decrease your bone density or cause a weakness in your bones. Luckily, this is reversible, but while you're on the shot, you definitely want to make sure you're ingesting an adequate amount of calcium every day. The other risk is that it may increase the risk of heart disease in certain women with high risk factors. So always check with your primary care provider to make sure that this is right for you. Side effects of the shot include that there may be a delay in fertility. Sometimes after you stop taking the shot, it may take up to 10 months for your ovaries to start ovulating again. Other side effects are irregular bleeding, which typically occurs within the first six to nine months, weight gain, which is usually less than five pounds, headache, nervousness or dizziness, and weakness or fatigue. But these are all very, very rare. Moving on to the contraceptive implant or implanon, this is a single rod that contains the hormone progesterone. It is inserted by your primary care provider, usually in your upper arm and it's barely visible once it's inserted. This is a very effective form of birth control that's over 99% effective and lasts for up to three years. There are several benefits to the Imponon, and the main one is that it's convenient. Once you have it inserted, you don't have to worry about birth control for three years. It also is easily removable, so that anytime you decide it's not working right for you or it's time to put another one in, your physician can usually remove it within a few minutes. It's also safe for breastfeeding and may improve pain with your periods because after being on the implant for a while, your periods usually become very light or either non-existent. The risks of the implant are very, very small, but they do include an increased risk of ectopic pregnancy or a pregnancy in your tubes or problems with the insertion. Sometimes you can get bruising or pain with insertion, but usually this goes away after a few days. The side effects are very similar to the shot in that there is an increased risk of irregular bleeding, particularly within the first six to nine months, weight gain, which is usually less than four pounds in two years, mood changes, acne, headache, and depression. This concludes our segment on the Depo-Provera shot and implant. Thank you for viewing Bankable Health Tips. Please stay tuned for our next segment as we conclude our series on contraception. I'm Dr. Tracy Banks, and remember, be healthy.